Welcome back everybody, we are continuing with episode 4 in Life is Strange. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Warren sent us a message. Thanks for pulling me off Nathan. Talk about going ape, he deserved to beat down but I don't want to stop to stew to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ass sooner than later. Yeah, you have no idea. Nathan's SUV? That farm, yeah, it's a farm down there. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Well, at least we've managed to find a way in. Oh, yes. That wasn't too difficult. Rules. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Right, let's continue our search. Clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Search the crate. Maybe I'll find the something. Prescotts were just born bastards. July the 22nd, 1903, Martin Lewis Prescott, Prescott Ranch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen expect and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest. Plus a written apology, if these conditions are not met by the end, if the day should be by the end of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, MLP. What a bee. Nasty pieces of work. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Gonna be some pitchfork. Oh, choose that. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Just rotting wood. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. This is the eerie part of the game, like a horror. Whoa. Found it. What is this? Totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Yes, I can. Okay. okay. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Got a climb up oh. there somehow. Can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Some huh, people like away, trouble. I dig having minions. Okay, now we got a. Mm. Hmm. 
No, that didn't make sense. I got a hook. Okay. I messed that bit up then. I need to attach that to it. Makes no sense if I just get up there and just expect it to work. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Now I'll get it to help me. In all fairness, I could have climbed and then got Chloe to attach it, I think, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. I've got an idea actually. Then I'm going to rewind it. So that's back up here. There we go. And attach that to the motor and then do it. So we, so we roll. Magic. MacGyver strikes again. Being able to rewind time does help. Oh, there's an owl. Let's take a picture. That's very cute. Magic. And then we go into the creepy den. Damn, this is heavy. What is Yeah, this, this is creepy. Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Oh dear. We should go down there. Oh god. This bunker is so surreal. Okay, what well, do I even figure First that one out? Lock, then a digi code. Someone really doesn't want visitors. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. And that comes to let's have a look at our old files that we had. Got be in here somewhere, aren't they? Here we go. No, um. Where is the info we were just using? I need three, three numbers. Let's have a look. No. I'm guessing it's going to be on that piece of torn up pipe that he had. What do you guys reckon? No, it's not going to be them. It's going to be... Nearly, nearly there. No. Is that 542? Should try that one. 542. Got it, there we go. Yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open 
in sesame. Oh, this is just creepy. So oh my god. More survivalist supplies. That's not good. Tuck tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Prescott's and creepy aunt. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Is going on between Nathan and his father. Nathan, I've told you never to call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming at my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shed my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you, or you're on your own. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, Principal Wells has informed me that you've been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know that what kind of shame you've once again brought upon this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention. But nothing is, an, is never, ever enough for you. You're still my son and I want us to feel our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think. So be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. Really, after I think he's done. Well, his dad's probably as bad. Oh my god. No. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. That's so bad. Oh my god. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. Victoria's been out as well. Binder marked Victoria. Which means she's the next victim. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots. Shit. Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's... Out of it. Maybe, She's dead. Maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Oh yeah, school suspension is a... This picture is framed different. Rachel is... Rachel has passed out. And she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. He's one sick individual. Look at all these. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Nothing else I can grab is there. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Let's 
Get out of here. We need to find Rachel. This is sad. Very, very sad. To be honest, I'm surprised you didn't drive off without us. This is it. Oh god, no, 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 don't. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. Jeez. Her best friend. Chloe. Murdered. <laughs> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? A cruel one. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? Jeez. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. If they're different. What is that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. See, Chloe doesn't really care about anybody else. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. 
I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Jeez. On, Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always. Chloe has too much ass. attitude. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. You won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> He's drunk. The dreaded Vortex Club. Maybe Dane just have a party next to a pool. Electricity and water should not mix. side first any people can I talk to oh, let's talk to Courtney on her own there's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria I wonder why <laughs> hello Brooke I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party I didn't expect that either but I really need to find Nathan no, I haven't seen him, and I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. 
He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will, will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Oh, she's actually being nice. Makes a change. Hi, Daniel. Yes! Max fixed an interest! <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm... I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. You have no idea. Oh, Max, you need a Blackwell break. I'm taking you to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? And I've had no messages to say why she's on her own, which is very strange. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give me an epic headline. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. All <laughs> he has to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. Very true. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Thanks for seeing me. Oh, thank you. For helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. That's kind of funny, actually. But I'll save her. Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Hmm. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Courtney. I wanna find out why she's all on her own. She's obviously falling out with her for some reason. Oh, that's nice of her. Oh, 
that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye. Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Let's go. Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I've personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, oh, good. Yeah, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex. Thank you. Now I'm going to kick some butt. Ha ha. Serves you right. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Okay, what's Kate saying? Okay. Bless her. Oh. Speak to Hayden. Oh, up in the sky. It's super max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? No thanks. Come on. I would kill to see you bait. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Just me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick... I don't think that's an option. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking wrecked. He's a bit of an ass. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Peter. Just watch out for Nathan to me. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. What an ass. <laughs> Tyler dancing. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh. Thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Okay. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try this to... This is your fault, because you pick... I can blame her, Sada. Oh, Just to twist the knife. Wow. 
Are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Caitlyn's dose, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. And you're a bitch. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you made. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Uh, I warned her last time. I'm not gonna this time. Because I, I warned her last time and she talk. ended up in there. I don't blame you for not caring. I totally know I'm a mean bitch. Too much residue for my other school clips. We are supposed to be adults, right? That's what they tell us. Speaking of... Have you seen Nathan? Nathan Prescott? Why do you want to know that? Uh, uh, Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. I hope he doesn't give you any shit. Actually, I haven't seen Nathan tonight. I swear. Au revoir. No point in getting her involved yet. The last time I told her in my other playthrough, in Chloe's playthrough, I told her, Should and she ended up. Victoria about Nathan. No. I mean, she might be evil, but. Now we're actually going to see how it goes without telling her because the last time we did she ended up in the dark room with us regardless. We want her not to be a part of that. Where are you Nathan? I better get Chloe. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't know. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the loop. Can we talk to Juliet now? i say she's an idiot for doing that. Because they're always stoned. The boy cannot dance though. Look at that. He's like he's drunk. Do the chicken dance. Right. Um I think that's it then. Yeah, let's go to Chloe. 
and get out of here. Oh, could I, should I warn her? Nah, no, sod it. I try my best, but sod it. So it's the same one that wins it. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shock. Victoria Chase. Yeah, was that a shocker? I knew she was gonna win. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero. Oh, what a creep. And I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. I can. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead. And I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Jeez. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. On the moon, she's disappearing now. Get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Oh, this is creepy. I can't even see. This is very creepy. messages we got some more things to read though soon Thursday
This is the moment where all the clues come together and we finally have a location outside of town that may lead us straight to Rachel Amber and beyond. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me. Since I do feel we're at the end of the road, hopefully not the end of the world. But whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me, and I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe is more focused now than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet, yet excited. It's hard to explain the feeling. Even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery that involved time, space and all our fates. I've never had much faith. Not the Kate Marsh kind, anyway. But I couldn't believe we were, able, we were being set up for doom after everything that's happened this week. But I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family and I shouldn't have been surprised that it was actually housing a weird secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia and worse. If there was an evil Ground Zero, this place was it. Cupboards filled with named red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I even had any clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to this kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue about what was coming. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh post unconscious with that motherfucker Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber. Delicately composed photographs of her drugged and all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feeling, I was feeding Chloe felt like vapour. And then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the junkyard. We finally found Rachel Lambert dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry. Chloe, I'm sorry. Kate, I'm sorry. William. Fuck you, Arcadia Bay. High school should be the best years of your life. I've heard over and over from my parents and other experts. Fuck do they know. Tell that to Rachel Amber or Kate. I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She won't let go of the gun. So we have to find Nathan before Chloe kills him. And if that happens, it will be hard to rewind. But we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible. So I have to block out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber. That will be burned into my retinas forever. There's still a final secret to uncover, and nothing is going to stop us now, not even a goddamn tornado. Chloe and I pulled up to Blackwell's parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh, the irony. We had to get rid of poor Warren Fast, who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with Chloe and me. I can't put another one of my friends in danger. So bizarre to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-Halloween costumes, talking and laughing and smoking and drinking. As if there wasn't a serial killer going to, to the same party or the town wasn't in eco danger. As if to remind me of Arcadia Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon. Or oh, that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a duck, just to try to make sure my irises weren't foggy. Was this another sign or an environmental illusion? Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. She went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know that he's running out of time too. No one really intended. We are. My first and last Vortex Club party. Flashing lights and DJ Doom. No comment. Spinning. In an alternate reality I might have been at this party. Standing in the corner, shy, nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance. But being terrified if that had happened. And that would have been the limit of my problems. Now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first. Then Nathan before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she's actually just a terribly insecure person with talent, passion and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no good reason. But that doesn't mean she'll step outside to look at me without her hate. I try to see beyond our petty mean girl drama, assuming she has some moral to play in all this, but she made it impossible and I had to find Chloe. I felt shitty not warning her. 
but I just have to hope that Victoria is the one person Nathan would leave alone. If I only hate a friendship or the fact that assholes stick together. Okay, now here we go. I think we're coming to the end of this episode now. So we'll finish this episode and then we'll leave it here. Look, we can't track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. What an end to the episode. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Max, please hurry. Oh god. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh god. I've been drugged. Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? Oh crap. Dead. Sad. Would you believe it, Mr. Jefferson? Okay, we're going to leave it there as that is the end of episode four. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope to see you soon for the start of episode 5. See you soon.